Hi all, Owen Wilson Jr. here, and it's time for another instalment of my review of the beginning box set Doctor Who. This week I'll be reviewing The Daleks, which is the second DVD in the box set, and it's probably the best one in the box set, actually. Um, it's a very good DVD, uh, so I'm going to review it for you. The story, first of all. Well, the story continues from the end of the last one, where they've just got out of the Cave of Skulls, and they've got back to uh, the TARDIS, and uh, the Doctor has to make a very quick getaway. And they end up on this desolate planet, where the radiation levels are very high, but they don't notice it, of course, because when they check the radiation, oh, it's reading fine, and then they go out, and then... There's a shot of the radiation just going up. Um, and basically, it's the first ever Dalek story. Um, they land on the planet Scaro. Uh, they notice that everything is completely dead. Uh, nothing. There's been this big neutronic war, and everything in the planet is just dead. And they investigate into a city. And they find the Daleks. Um, and there's a lot of references to World War II, Nazis. Um, for example, the Daleks' persecution of the Thals. Uh, and it's just a really, really good Dalek story. It's the first ever one. So this is Daleks in their purest form. And... It's just a brilliant story. And the first ever alien in Doctor Who is a Dalek. You can't get better than that. The first ever alien that they did, and they got it right. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Good on them. And the Daleks is what sealed Doctor Who's popularity. Uh, Storyline is great. It's quite long. Um, I think there's like seven parts to the story, all individually titled. They didn't bring in um, part one, part two, part three, part four, until uh, like Patrick Troughton era, or around about that time. I prefer them when they're individually titled, um, because then you can have the first one you can have you can have individual titles for each of them rather than giving it a general title because it's like it's really it really spoils it sometimes when when you turn on Doctor Who when you watch a Doctor Who video it would be nice and I could see how it could have spoiled it but it's just like oh what is it Day of the Daleks oh okay so it's going to have the Daleks in it um, but no the titles range from the Dead Planet the Survivors the Escape the Ambush the Expedition uh, the Ordeal and the Rescue. The Rescue was actually um, a title of a, another uh, Doctor Who episode that um, appeared the first, uh, w which was the first one after the Dalek Invasion of Earth. So a little bit of trivia for you there. But um, all in all, it's very good. I'd give the story 9 out of 10. Yeah, nine out of ten. It's absolutely brilliant. If you're if you're a Doctor Who fan, then this is a must. And if you're not a Doctor Who fan, then this is a must. You must really watch this one. If you're not into black and white, then shame on you, because black and white is brilliant. All the greatest things are in black and white. So, 9 out of 10 for the story. DVD cover and the, and the DVD layout. It's really nice. I like the title. It's, I, I like the, sorry, I like the uh, cover. And it's the same color cover that is used on the uh, box set. I think I've mentioned that before. They, they really do focus in on the Daleks a lot. Apart from the side cover, which is the same cover as on the Unearthly Child here. But the other two are 
the same as this one. Um, and oh, and look at that lovely, lovely motif here, and on the front of the booklet there. But because there's so much writing, look at how much information there is there. Two columns of information in that booklet. It's been a, I just love reading the, these things that they put in the booklet. It's great. And uh, special features, quite a lot of special features. The making of the Daleks. Uh, commentaries. Um, and a digitally remastered sound quality and picture quality. Again, the picture quality and sound is really quite good. The Daleks in this, I think they only say, I think they only say exterminate like once or twice. Twice at the most. I think they don't even use the word exterminate. I think it's extermination. They say they want complete extermination of something. That's... Uh, oh wait, no, the, that's it. The quote is, uh, the Doctor says to the Daleks, that's sheer murder. And then the Daleks say, no, it's extermination. So they don't actually say exterminate in this. Um, which is which is quite nice, actually. It's probably something that the media uh, exaggerated a bit, but then it was it, it was used a lot later on. Overall DVD, then, with all the cover and special features. And DVD, everything, special features and everything. I'd give 9 out of 10. It's great. So, yeah. Daleks. 9 out of 10. There's nothing really that I can say about it. It's just brilliant. Um, if you haven't seen any Doctor Who at all, then, you know, you must have heard of the Daleks, at least. If you've heard of Doctor Who, then you're bound to, heard of the da to have heard of the Daleks. They're the, they're the biggest thing, they're one of the biggest things in Doctor Who. It's like the Daleks, the Cybermen, the Master, which are the really big things in Doctor Who. And they brought them all back in the new series. Uh, I, I'm, I'm lost for words, really. In a good way. Because this is really good. Uh, it still has that tension between the companions as well. They don't really trust each other. And they haven't a reason to yet. And the Doctor is still very crotchety and very nasty. It's nice. And there's still a lot of mystery about him. Which is great. I like that about the Doctor. Very good story. So, that's it from the Daleks. Oh, I might read the back bits if any of you are interested. The Doctor is about to have his first meeting with the Daleks. The TARDIS lands in an alien, in an alien petrified jungle, beyond which lies a mysterious desert, deserted city. Desert city. Deserted city. The Doctor insists on exploring, but before long, the TARDIS crew all begin experiencing the early effects of radiation sickness, and then they discover that the metal city isn't as deserted as they first, first thought. Brilliant story. Nine out of ten. So next week, I'll be back with the conclusion to my beginning box set reviews, The Edge of Destruction. So until then, ciao.